Now recording, action! Okay, so we're making French onion soup today. Christian from class wanted this as a demo, so we're making it. In front of you, I have a beef and chicken stock, one liter each. I have a dry wine, half a cup of dry white wine. You can also use vermouth or sherry. Typically, I think it's a dry vermouth or sherry. I have two cloves of garlic mince, salt, pepper. There's no actual measurement. We're going to season along the way. Bay leaves, thyme, butter, oil, onions that we have julienne, and then a the water to deglaze. So let's get started. I'm going to heat the induction, and I'm going to add my oil. So the oil is heated, I'm going to add my onions. And then start cooking my onions. So it's heating up, I'm just going to give it a stir. And it's going to keep cooking. I want the onions to get a nice golden brown color. And I'm just going to keep stirring and I'm going to cook it. And on medium high heat. So the bottom of the pan is getting a little bit dark. I'm going to use a little bit of water to deglaze and scrape. That's going to give us a nicer color and we're going to continue to cook. So it has reached a nice color. I'm going to add my butter and then I'm going to add my garlic. I'm going to cook it a little bit. I'm going to continue to cook it. Stir it in. This is going to take roughly three to five minutes and then we're going to deglaze with the white wine. So now uh, I've cooked my butter for a couple minutes, my garlic for a couple minutes, I'm going to deglaze with the white wine. So if you don't want to use wine, that's fine. You can just use uh, the stock as well. So you're going to add this in. So this is a cooking wine so that there's no more alcohol. It's de-alcoholized anyways. So it has a wine flavor, but it doesn't really have the alcohol content. So I'm going to keep this stir, stir, stir until all the wine has reduced to concentrate the flavor. So the wine's cooked out. Now the next thing, I'm gonna add my blend of beef and chicken stock. I'm gonna add my bay leaves, and I'm gonna add my thyme. I'm gonna give this a stir. I'm going to bring it to a boil and I'm going to simmer for roughly 30 minutes. So you see it's starting to boil now. I'm going to skim off any impurities just like what we've done with the stock. And I'm going to simmer this. We're going to turn it down a little bit. We're going to simmer for 20 to 30 minutes and I'm going to finish the soup later on. So this is after a simmer for 20-30 minutes. You can see some of the liquid has reduced. We have skimmed the impurities. Now I'm just looking for a couple things I want to remove. I want to remove the thyme stem and as well as the two bay leaves that we put in earlier. If we can find it. So to finish the French onion soup, I have my soup heated up in a bowl. I have croutons and I have gruyere cheese. So Typically, you'll see that people use slices of bread instead. Uh, for me, just as a preference, I like cutting it up so that it's easier for me to dig my spoon through. So I'm just gonna place, or just generously put breadcrumbs that are toasted. There's a sourdough bread that Megan made on top. Lots of bread, there you go. And then I'm also going to put my cheese on top now. Generous cheese, and I'm gonna put it in a 400 degree oven for roughly 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how long, uh, depending on the preference of the caramelization you like and the melted cheese that you want on top. 